At the time of making this video, I couldn't actually find anything on YouTube that explained why firms existed in terms of transaction costs. So I thought I'd make my own thing. Here you go. So this man you see in front of you, his name was Ronald uh, Coase. Very interesting character. He didn't really rely on maths too much to explain economics. He considered it blackboard economics. Now, those of you who have had any background studies in economics would know that they tend to love the free market. The market does everything. It is so efficient. But if the market is so, so efficient, why do we even need firms? He concluded that it was in order to reduce transaction costs. A transaction is essentially the exchange of a good or a service between two parties that are far away from each other. And a transaction cost is the cost of doing that. What exactly are these costs that exist within a firm free market? Well, firstly, you have to actually find somebody to do business with. And the time it takes to do that is considered a cost. And then when you finally found him, you gotta start haggling about the prices. And again, more time, time is money. To make sure both parties keep to their word, you have to actually spend in order to enforce these contracts. Again, more costs. Now, if you had to do that for every single transaction ever, you just get a whole lot of contracts. And all it takes is one slight change to the economy or to society, and then you have to go about renegotiating these contracts as well. Um, here's a quick summary of, uh, of the costs. Now we know the problems within the market, how do firms go about solving them? Employment contracts. When a firm employs somebody, they specify what they can't do. But then anything beyond that, they can order you around however they wish from 9 to 5 or 8 to 7, which seems to be the reality nowadays. This means you don't actually need new contracts. You just tell your employees to do something different. Now, a fair question to ask would be, what if the firm employs so many people and makes so many employment contracts that there ends up being more transaction costs within the firm than within the market? The firms will only make these contracts if and only if their total costs are less than the market costs. Otherwise, there's no point. But firms can actually do a bit more than just offer employment contracts. This is due to the findings of some dude called Oliver Williamson, who won a Nobel Prize, actually, similar to Coase, for these findings. This picture really makes me laugh. I showed my sister and she's like, what's wrong with it? But anyway, um, people tend to have very limited knowledge. They can't see into the future. This is something called bounded rationality. Bounded rationality actually means contracts are incomplete. Now, there's something called opportunism. People try to exploit these gaps, even if it makes somebody else worse off. Finally, there's something called asset specificity. So let's take the example of the iPhone. Their casing needs to be tailor-made for them. So Apple will go to a company and ask them to change how they're producing their goods so that it suits the iPhone. All of this combined creates something called the hold-up problem, which basically means if you look at the example of Apple, that company that they approached are very, very scared. They're scared because Apple could just turn around one day and say, we're going to lower the prices that we're offering you. We're going to pay you less. And you can't do anything about it because nobody else wants your product. You tailor made it for Apple. They have extremely high sunk costs. So then you probably tell Apple in the first place that, you know what, I don't want to make the products for you. I'm scared that you're going to do that. So Apple are like, cool. And they just buy out the firm. This merge takes place to reduce the problem that I highlighted earlier. So remember, firms can actually help reduce transaction costs. This is done through a process called vertical integration. That's more or less it. So I hope you found this video somewhat helpful.